Hi there, thank you so much for watching The Real Source with me, Tafadzwa. Now, the movie that I'm reviewing today is Bittersweet. It's a difficult one to review. It's bitter in the sense that it deals with a very difficult subject matter, all of the issues around African migrants looking for a better life in Europe, but how that can sometimes end in tragedy. We've heard the stories of people losing their lives at sea is trying to get across to Europe to make a new start for themselves. So this movie deals with this migrant trend. I say it is sweet in the sense that this movie is a thing of beauty. It's a movie that is well told. It's a movie that is simple, quality acting, quality directing. And so it's one of those movies that leaves you very conflicted. Uh, you're not quite sure how to feel because you've seen something on screen that's beautiful, but at the same time you feel deep pain deep emotions and so that's what this movie Joy is all about. The story of Joy is about a woman, a young woman by the name of Joy, self-titled and this woman uh, wants that better life that we're talking about in Europe. She wants to uh, escape some of the frustrations that she is experiencing in Nigeria and um, as she kind of starts her life in Europe she realizes that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. She is in fact forced to sell her body on the streets of Vienna. Joy is the main character. We find her already in Austria, but at the beginning of this movie, there is a young lady by the name of Precious. She is a young girl, probably in her teens, and she wants to go off to Europe to start a new life. And so when the movie starts, we see her in the kind of the shrine of a juju priest, a spiritual being who chants a number of uh, spiritual promises. You will have a fantastic future in Europe. Nothing will get in the way of your success, but only if you pay me. She must pay him a debt. And if she doesn't pay that debt, then all kinds of curses will follow her. So after all of the incantations, you see a chicken's head cut off and all of these things, she then proceeds to go to Europe. She then finds Joy is already there and so Joy becomes something of a mentor to her. Initially she can't uh, get her head around becoming a prostitute. She can't get her head around sleeping with all these different men uh, every night. But Joy is kind of the character that's been schooled in this for a while. She's sort of been living this nightmare for a long time. Joy is in fact close to paying off her debt to the Juju priest but also to this kind of group of women called madams. Now, madams are essentially African women who work almost as pimps. In fact, they are like pimps. They are women who oversee these young women who've come to Europe and are now prostitutes. And the madam is the person to whom you must pay your money. You must pay your debt to her. As soon as you pay your debt to the madam, you are then free to live your life. So in fact, when you get to Europe, she will keep your passport. Until such time as you pay your debt, you are bound to her. There is nothing you can do. You are dealing with uh, women whose hopes have been dashed. You are dealing with people under bondage. I think for me as an African, uh, what I found particularly infuriating and sort of almost taking personally was the fact that the madams and the network of men bringing them new women from Africa. All of these people are actually in themselves African. So it's Africans oppressing Africans and that is depicted so well in this movie but leaves you feeling, uh, you know, really, really upset. And, um, and so, yeah, uh, in that sense, um, it's a movie that is difficult to watch. It's not a movie that you will come out of feeling like you've watched, uh, you know, an escapist type movie. It's a harsh reality type of movie, but so beautifully executed in the way that it deals with an important topic. So that's my take on Joy, uh, the movie directed by Subade Mortaze. Fantastic cast. Check them out. They've done great work. This is a good movie. Um, that's it from me. Uh, thank you so much for watching The Real Source with me, Tafadzwa. See you in the next video.